Okay, this is a video uh, in 1 72nd scale of uh, some of the predominant Chinese modern uh, fighter and fighter bomber aircraft uh, that are modern and out there. Uh, I'll start with the one in the middle, the dark, very modernistic uh, stealth aircraft. It's a fifth generation stealth aircraft that they built. Under the Obama administration, uh, the United States was busily in full production of its F-22, which is uh, perceived by most people to be the best fighter, superiority, air superiority fighter in the world uh, to this day. And the United States was building them and had intended to build between six and 800 to replace the F-15s, which are themselves still very capable aircraft. But the Obama administration decided that the United States had enough, uh, that uh, they announced that the Chinese wouldn't have anything similar until probably the mid 20 and that the Russians themselves wouldn't have anything available. So in 2011 and into 2012, they canceled the F-22 fighter production at 173 aircraft. Well, the next year, actually in 2012, I believe, when uh, the Defense Department head, I think his name was Carter, I can't remember at the time, uh, he visited China and as a real snub, they rolled out this prototype of the J-20 in 2012. Since that time, they built nine prototypes, tested them very heavily, and a year and a half or so ago went into production, uh, serial uh, uh, production of their production aircraft. They now have on the order, order of 30 to 36 of these aircraft and are upping the production and will be building more. I have a feeling that they'll build more than 173 of them, but uh, that's the J-20. That's their new modern fifth generation stealth fighter. Uh, the Russians have one as well. We'll have another video of Russian aircraft. They haven't built as many and they haven't gone into serial production simply because they don't have the money to do so. So it's unlikely that they'll get into production soon, but in 2012, they also rolled out their uh, aircraft. So it's clear that uh, uh, we were sadly mistaken. This next aircraft to the side is the J-11 uh, aircraft that is the Chinese version of it. Uh, they've used, uh, you know, lightweight composite material uh, coupled with uh, uh, electronic uh, cockpits and uh, all Chinese weaponry. Uh, and they used this aircraft to, to replace, well, not to replace, but to augment the about 100 Su-30s they bought from Russia. But they clearly wanted their own aircraft, and they built this aircraft now, and they have built them in some numbers. There's uh, something on the order of 200 of these aircraft now. And I'm going to turn it over just so that you can get a view of the missile carrying capability they have. Uh, you see there that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on the wingtips, two more there carry uh, upwards of 10 missiles, uh, and they are Chinese missiles and uh, Chinese avionics and complete Chinese aircraft. And uh, they're, they're very, very decent aircraft and, uh, you know, would, would be a match and a real danger to our F-15s. Over here we have the J-10, which the Chinese have now built uh, 450 to 500 of. They are a fighter bomber uh, that uh, is supersonic, of course. This is the two-seat version of it, uh, but they too uh, carry a decent load. This one is set up for long-range air interception with the two, three large... Uh, uh, fuel tanks and the four missiles, uh, but they can carry, you know, eight, six to eight uh, 
weapons as well, and they are very uh, maneuverable. They're, they're something that would be analogous or similar to the US uh, F-16. Back here in the back, we have the JH-7 Leopard. It's a fighter bomber that would be similar to the F-15E that the United States flies. We'll turn him over and you can see his armament. He carries some significant long-range anti-surface missiles. Uh, this particular aircraft is a naval version of this aircraft. There are also Air Force versions and uh, there are something on the order of 400 of those or more. And uh, it's my understanding that there's a J-7B version that's being built now. Uh, they're very satisfied with that aircraft. And finally, back here in the very back, we have another naval aircraft. This is their J-15. It's the aircraft that they built to fly off of their new carriers. They have two new carriers and they have built in the last three years or so in their production version uh, 20 to 30 of these aircraft and are upping that production because they are building a third aircraft carrier. The first two uh, can carry upwards of 45 to 48 aircraft each and uh, the new carriers are even larger. So we expect to see more of these builds uh, short of them either developing a naval version of this stealth fighter, which I doubt, or a naval version of their JC-31 uh, stealth aircraft that they, I don't show here, but was originally built uh, for international consumption. It's a smaller plane, but stealthy and fifth generation, and they may try to put that uh, on their carriers, uh, particularly with the United States now loading its carriers up with the F-35C which is going to be a very proven and very uh, effective naval aircraft. It has a bigger wing than the other F-35, so it carries more fuel and more ordnance. And uh, they are now uh, starting off with putting a squadron of 10 on each carrier. And as time goes on, they'll increase that probably to a squadron of uh, 18 to 24. Uh, by the way, the J-20 here that you see uh, comes out in these similar colors, particularly a more silver color with uh, 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 gray to overtones around the wing edges. And uh, it's an impressive, impressive aircraft. So these are uh, the principal Chinese fighter bombers that are modern. They have many, many older aircraft. I decided not to put them out here, um, but they have hundreds and hundreds of those. Uh, these, you know, they probably have, as I said, 400, 450 to 500 of those J-10s, uh, three or 400 of those J-11s. Uh, they've got 30 or 40 of their J-20s. Uh, they've got 25 or 30 of those J-15s. And they have uh, a couple 300 of those uh, J-7 uh, fighter bombers. Uh, <clears throat> and they are building more all the time. Uh, I don't show here their uh, H-6 bomber, particularly their H-6K, which is a new build airplane. It's a uh, takeoff on the uh, Russian aircraft that they bought back in the 60s. But this aircraft, the H-6K, uh, I've got a video out of that. You might look it up. Is uh, heavily endowed with composite materials. As I was saying, electronic and glass cockpit, new build aircraft, built specifically to carry anti-surface and anti-shipping missiles. It can carry six of them at a time. And it fulfills a role similar to our B-52, which has been around a long time but continuously upgraded. And the B-52, on the other hand, can carry 20 uh, air-launched cruise missiles, either uh, land attack or... Uh, service and ship attack missiles. So there you have it, the uh, five principal Chinese aircraft. Uh, should not at all underestimate them. Uh, they are spending a lot of money building them, of course, but they're spending a lot of money not only testing them, but exercising them all the time. Uh, I think the only 
nation that probably exercises more is the United States. Uh, you might put Japan in that category as well uh, because they do a lot of exercising of their uh, uh, Japanese air self-defense force and of course their naval Japanese maritime self-defense force. Thanks for looking. Hope you enjoyed it. Let your friends know about the Jeff Head uh, military, modern military weapons and model building uh, channel here on, your on YouTube and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.